so this is the walled end system in this system first step is using w1 file then we recapitulate using a 10k file size irrigate lubricate second step is using a w2 file then we recapitulate irrigate lubricate third step is using a w3 file irrigate recapitulate and lubricate fourth step is using a w4 file we irrigate recapitulate using 10 10 number file and lubricate and the final step 5 is using w5 and w6 file for the larger canal since it is 25 mm speed for w1 w2 we keep 300 rpm torque generally we keep 3 newtons so remember this the first step once we start is using 8% taper with 17 mm file size we use as an orifice opener we move the file slowly forward but we do not apply any pressure apically so we take this file up to the working length and then we check with 10 number k file size the patency of the canal and when you are doing it the w1 wt file we use 300 rpm of speed and 3 newton of torque the second step is using w2 file now w2 file is 2% taper 19 mm of file we introduce up till the working length we move the file slowly forward without putting any apical pressure recapitulate using 15 number k file size till the working length in between we recapitulate using 10 number k file to check the patency of the canal irrigate and lubricate step 3 is using 4% taper 20 mm of file for the anatomical inspection up till the working length slowly introduce into the canal in a packing motion now if there is a resistance you can go back to the previous step in between recapitulate irrigate and lubricate the canal so remember step 1 is w1 step 2 is w2 step 3 is w3 now coming to the step 4 so after step 3 we have the step 4 so so remember whatever file system you are using we have to go in the sequence and always remember to see the instructions on the rotary file system so for this particular walden rotary file system we go in the sequence step by step w1 w2 w3 w4 w5 w6 likewise there are systems rotary systems are present and they have instructions given along with the system we have to go according to the instructions now coming to the step 4 we use 6% taper with 20 mm file now the step 4 is 6% taper with 20 mm file up to the working length is used to shape the middle part of the root canal so file is taken up till the working length we introduce the file slowly into the canal engage the file without putting any pressure apically if there is any resistance you can go back to the previous step and always remember to recapitulate in between these rotary files so in between these rotary files remember to use k file 10 number to check for the patency of the canal remember to irrigate and lubricate in between each file we use so that is the step 4 for each canal we use this w4 file so for each of the canal we take up till the working length and guys always remember that when we are taking these files rotary files we go up till the working length and we use edt along with that so remember to use edta engage the file into the canal use the brushing or packing motion and recapitulate so initial we use 10 number k file size to check the patency but in case if there is any obstruction or any resistance we can go back to previous step or also you can use a 15k file size to create a glide path so recapitulate in between the file basically going back to the 
previous file size is known as recapitulation so you are going back to the previous step you are going back to the previous file using this hand file 10 number you can use the recapitulation so the next step is step 5 you can take a 4 percent 25 millimeter file or you can take next step is 6 percent taper 25 millimeter file since the size is 25 millimeter so it is used for larger canals to the working length so basically the purpose is to enlarge the apical part of the canal we slowly introduce the file into the canal without putting any pressure apically we finish the rotary bmp with w5 w6 file size so w1 w3 the speed we use is 300 rpm torque is 3 newtons for w3 w4 w5 and w6 slightly you can increase the speed up to 325 rpm and you can reduce the torque up to 1.8 newton and guys always remember see this is the red band file for this particular rotary system which is basically 4% and 6% taper 25 millimeter file size up till the working length so for larger canal you can use these w5 or w6 at the fifth step so remember to use very gentle touch do not force the file into the apical area always irrigate the canal before engaging a file always use edta along with a file use the file with a brushing or pecking motion and take the file passively with very light resistant and try to brush out so always remember to brush out the file of the canal never push into the canal try to take out of the canal and remember to irrigate in between so recapitulate in between each file and irrigate in between each file so i have skipped the recapitulation and irrigation step that is to make you understand the sequence of rotary file system we use so all the instructions of rotary file system are given in the manual that is provided with this rotary file system so whatever rotary file system you use always remember to follow the instructions so for this particular file system we use w1 then w2 then w3 w4 w5 and w6 